Fido and Fluffy are members of your family, and you hate to see them scratch and suffer with fleas. What can you do to eliminate fleas? And is there a way to do it without nasty chemicals? To find out, we've invited William Slade, General Manager of DoMyOwnPestControl.com, to join us for the Dollar Stretcher interview. William Slade is General Manager of DoMyOwnPestControl.com and a resident pest expert. He's helped literally hundreds through the process of doing their own pest control treatments, uh, not only for fleas, but for a whole host of other insects and pests. Uh, William, thanks for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. I know uh, we have a, a little schnoodle in our household, uh, and she's, uh, she scratches herself now and again. Uh, but beyond scratching, uh, is there a way to tell if your dog or cat is infected with fleas? Uh, one of the telltale signs is if you get down and, and look at the pet and uh, take your hands and move the fur to the side, you can see actually a bunch of little black dots, which is uh, typically an indication it's the fecal matter from the fleas themselves. And it's usually pretty uh, easy to spot if there is an infestation on the pet. Now, would you, would you expect to see the fleas themselves? And if so, what do they look like? Uh, you can't, they're, they're small, obviously, uh, and they, they jump around a lot, so you, you may or may not see a few running here or there, um, but uh, it's usually easier to see and make the identification by the actual fecal matter that's there because that's the direct indication of fleas being on that pet. Okay. Now, I know uh, a lot of people uh, say fleas are really hard to eradicate, and uh, there's times that they think they've got it taken care of, and yet the fleas seem to return. Uh, why is that? It's due to their rapid life cycle. Uh, the, the life cycle of the flea is about seven days. So they're constantly reproducing, and most uh, insecticide treatments are only going to work on the adults. And that's the part people forget. So they're spraying and they're killing the adults, but what they're not taking care of are the eggs and larvae that are hiding and laying dormant, usually in, in pet beds uh, or in carpets. Now, what, what, uh, knowing that, what makes a good battle plan for families uh, with pets, uh, one, to either prevent fleas or once they have them, to eradicate them? Uh, the first step is to uh, medicate the pet, usually with a topical flea treatment that you would want, you know, to apply to the, to the dog or the cat uh, to protect them themselves because they're typically what's bringing them into the home. Um, secondly, you want to wash any and all pet bedding. Wash it and dry it in really hot water. Uh, and then the sec second thing uh, is you want to vacuum the entire area very good. And once you vacuum, empty the contents of the bag, seal it in a Ziploc bag, take it outdoors so they, they can't reintroduce. And then from that point, you can decide what treatment plan. Uh, typically, you would use an insecticide in the house that will work for the adults and also use that paired with an insect growth regulator, which will stop the reproductive cycle and not allow the... Um, eggs and larvae to mature into adults so that they can't reproduce. Now, I know uh, uh, a lot of people are concerned, uh, you know, with chemicals in the house, especially where, uh, you know, toddlers uh, <coughs> uh, are crawling around on carpets as well. And then now, the kind of chemicals that are being used, the insecticides, they're a lot different now than they used to be, aren't they? They're, they're much more safer than they have been, say, 10, 20 years ago. Uh, the market is, is strictly controlled. Um, in fact, chemicals, what chemicals you can use, where you can use them, how you can apply them. And more of the convenient flea treatment chemicals now are made uh, specifically to be able to be applied directly to furniture, pet bedding, carpets. Um, you know, it's, it's safe for that. You just want to make sure that any pets, children, people are out of the area while you're applying. Once it's dry, an hour or two, it's completely safe to reintroduce back into the area. Good, good. A lot, a lot of people will be comforted by that. Uh, and then, is there any way to completely protect yourself from infestations, or, or just uh, by by living life, are you are you somewhat in, uh, in danger? If you if you're prone to an area that seems to always get fleas every year, no matter what, uh, the the preventative you could do would be an outdoor flea treatment. You can do that a couple ways. You can uh, use a chemical insecticide liquids that you could spray your area, either a perimeter spray around your home. Uh, another convenient way is granules that you would put in a, a spreader, just like a fertilizer spreader you would use for your yard, and then you can broadcast uh, your entire lawn, which would not only protect from fleas, but it would, any other insects that would be labeled for that product. So very, very much like, like weed control in your yard. Right. 
Isn't that cool? And that, now I know you've been with the Do My Own Pest Control for a number of years. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, about the site uh, and what you guys do? Sure. The, the company was founded by two brothers in 2004 on the simple fact that we felt that there needed to be a way for homeowners to be able to treat themselves with professional grade products and also customer service being able to call in and getting free professional advice. So if you're even not sure about what the problem is that you're having, you can call in. Any of our customer service reps are trained. They will be able to help you identify your problem and help you find a solution to that via whichever route you want. Um, so that's kind of our claim to fame, and that's what we do. Cool, cool. Well, William, we thank thank you for uh, sharing what what you know about uh, fleas, or a portion of what you know about fleas that uh, help us control them and protect our pets. Uh, and we thank our viewers for joining us today. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.